Welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. I am your host Jack and this is yet another Photoshop Elements video tutorial. If you've enjoyed or if you're enjoying these video tutorials on YouTube please check out my website jackstechcorner.com and I have a lot of DVDs here of using Photoshop Elements for your photo editing. Uh, we have uh, three volumes already done Volume 1, 2, and 3. There's a great uh, deal right now in a three volume set for $40 and only $2 shipping. Also, for your Mac users out there, there is a Mac edition. So, once again, just go over to, like I said, jackstechcorner.com and check out the DVDs. They're very high resolution and there's a lot of videos on these DVDs, folks. It's never, seen, never uh, been seen before on YouTube or anywhere else. So there, I call those DVD exclusives. For you purchasing them, it, uh, it's just a little bit of value add. So let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. Now, I've noticed a lot of people out there buying these camcorders. They're buying these little uh, video recorders. <coughs> Excuse me. They're buying these little video recorders, and they're using these recorders to capture some great video of uh, maybe your, your kid's sporting events, a, a wedding, or, or something. And, you know, you get all this video, and, and they don't seem to know what to do with it. I've seen this same phenomenal happening, um, and this same type of um, behavior happening when people start buying digital cameras. That's why I started doing the digital photography series and started making videos on that. So I thought... Well, what would be a good idea now is, this is a good lead-in, and a lot of people have emailed me and said, Jack, are you going to do any tutorials on using Photoshop Elements Premiere? So I thought, well, now would be a great time, and we're going to get started. The first thing I'm going to show you right now is how to import video, and the video gets uh, imported into your organizer just the same way as our still pictures did. And that makes it really, really nice, so we can use that same organizer in Elements Premiere to actually edit your video down. Now to pull our video in, I have my camcorder hooked up. It's a flashed base camcorder. You can also do this uh, with a hard drive based camcorder. You know, with the hard drives in, a lot of you may have that. Uh, or any type of memory card. Like I said, mine's flash based memory. Or uh, SD cards. All we need to do is go up here to File and see where it says Get Photos and Videos. And we're going to do that simply by going to Camera or Card Reader. Now it's going to say select device. We have this plugged in. So it says camcorder 2. Let's plug that in. Let's click that. Actually, if you see in here, this camcorder 2, I have a second memory disk in my camera in my camcorder so that's what that is pulling up the first one here is H so you have to figure out which uh, card reader is actually your uh, camera or your uh, camcorder and it's going to pull them in we can see their video clips here's all the video clips and we have a good bit of video clips here so now what you want to do is, once you have those video clips pulled up um, to actually download those, we're going to download them exactly the same way that we would do still pictures. That's why it's very nice. It's very easy to use. But first I'm going to click out Browse here because I like to keep all my videos instead of under my pictures. As you see at the top there, we like to keep them under my videos. And this just happens to be videos of a basketball game. So I will put them in... Uh, basketball, uh, the month, and then maybe the year. And what I'm doing here is just naming the folder, just like we do for actual um, photos. The next thing we're going to do is import them into an album. I like to do this because then it's pre-done for me. So what we are going to do here is we're just going to start an album here and call this basketball 09 2009 video that way when I'm going through my organizer through my albums I'll see that that is actually video click OK 
after copying delete originals I'm not going to do this right now we're going to click on do not delete so that'll leave everything on the memory card on the camcorder until I'm sure that I have this uh, imported correctly and I'm sure it looks right then we're going to click on where it says get photos now at that point it's going to start downloading just as it would if it was pictures you can see it's copying each clip these are this mod file is a movie clip so it's going to start copying those right into our organizer okay now based on these actual movie files we can see um, some of them are going to go faster than others some of these video clips that I shot I know when I was shooting this video was um, you know anywhere from six minutes um, some of these are a whole uh, basketball period and you know with with the timeouts and everything involved some of these may be nine minutes sometimes you know you start something and there's a timeout or something happens uh, on the court or wherever you're shooting your video you may have smaller clips so you're going to see this uh, progression meter here sometimes it'll go really fast sometimes it's going to take a little time to get the video because it may be a bigger clip now when we're working with videos remember you are filling your hard drive up twice as fast uh, video is very large um, it's, it, I call it a whole nother beast um, in editing because you know photos are generally pretty small um, in size compared to video anyway even if you have a high resolution camera it's not going to be anything like these video uh, files so we're going to let that copy uh, I'm going to pause this until we get it in here because we don't want to sit here this is like uh, I call this like watching grass grow so I'll be back with you as soon as we get these uh, copied in and we'll start going into uh, looking at them in the editor all right, folks, now once we get these all copied into our organizer, we're going to come up with the files successfully copied uh, dialog box. Um, you can uncheck this, and it will never show that again. But it just tells you, just like if you're copying um, photos into your organizer, it's going to tell you that they're ready to be imported. Um, the elements will now import these files into your catalog. So click OK, and now it's going to start importing those videos right into the catalog. This part is a lot quicker, you'll find, than the actual uh, importing the videos into the computer. Now you get this last dialog that says the only items in the main window imported are the ones that you just basically uh, imported. That's the only ones actually showing right now. To see everything, click Show All. All right. So here's the video clips we just imported. And at this point right now, you can actually go over. I like to go over and just turn my uh, camcorder off. So you heard it there, it just uh, disconnected itself from the computer, I turned it off. Um, we're going to let that charge, we don't need it on anymore because we have all the videos successfully copied onto the computer. Now if you double click any of these, you can double click them and you can actually play the video. And you can sample each one of your video clips just by going through those. Sample another one here. All I did was double clicked on it. Alright, just like that. And you can see here, that's where you get smaller video clips. They just started out, they blew the whistle for a timeout to talk to the refs and uh, so you get shorter video clips again just double click them you have a volume control on the bottom turn the volume up and down alright and you can see here um, as I said I made a album right here and this album is all these video clips. To show you how that works, let's just go to Show All. Now the video clips are in here. The only thing I don't like, it'd be nice if there was a thumbnail base in here um, to show you what the clip is. Um, or like uh, for your Mac users out there, the um, you know uh, people with Leopard or with the new Snow Leopard, they can go in here and actually move their mouse across the clips. And they can see uh, a little bit of what the video is. You know, this makes it a little difficult. 
So that's why it's very important to keep your albums up to date when you're importing. Now, if I click on this Basketball 09 2009 video, here's just the clips from that. So that's how we get it into the organizer. And as I said, I'm going to do some, um, some videos on editing the video now in Photoshop Elements Premiere. And if you're looking at version 8 right now, there's a great deal on the package where you can get Photoshop Elements and Elements Premiere 8. They're both brand new this year. You could pick those up for about $120 for the package set, so you're going to save a ton of money if you do that. I would suggest that is the way to buy these things as a package, especially if you have a camcorder and a digital uh, digital camera. You know, the camcorder comes with some basic software. Don't buy into that. There's not a whole lot you can do with it except get your videos on the computer. They're, they're kind of... A lot of them are in a big disarray. You don't know how to get the videos on the DVD. You need a... a video editing package that allow you to work with those and work with that stuff. So in the upcoming videos, I hope to uh, soon get together some video editing stuff for you and I'm going to show you how to edit this stuff and show you how the editor, Photoshop Elements Premiere, actually shows the organizer and you can pull your clips right out of there and you can start putting those together as a full video, uh, do some transitions and, and really cool stuff in there, put some titles and burn a DVD. Hey, it's really great if you want to send that to grandma or something to the kids to show them, hey, this is what the kids are doing. There's also cool ways in there we can make some web videos. A lot of people like putting their videos on the internet. Um, I would suggest don't put a full hour or two hour video on the internet. It, it's too long. It's going to be huge when you're trying to upload it. So we'll talk about doing some flash videos. If you have any other questions about Photoshop Elements Premiere or Photoshop Elements, by all means, email me. And the email you can reach me at is uh, jackstechcorner at gmail.com. I'd love to hear your comments about the Photoshop uh, Elements and Elements Premiere. And I'd love to get your feedback on doing video. Is, uh, is there a lot of you out there looking to do video and don't understand it? Hey, write me and let me know because this is going to be a brand new series. And we're going to start pushing this out to you and, and seeing what we can do with some video stuff. So until next time... Um, First of all, check out my website, jackstechcorner.com, and check out those DVD collections. And until next time, keep those shutters clicking and keep those camcorders rolling. Most of all, keep the editors editing. I'll see you back here very soon on Jack's Tech Corner. Bye for now.